Yep. Well, you're uh, on a very, very large uh, lake, Wadena well, Lake. You might check out uh, the Google Maps on the on the post today. Just take a look at this lake, the size of it, and the complication of the islands and everything. One of the things I like about traveling on these expeditions is the navigation of these vast areas. And it's quite interesting just having these open horizons that just uh, continue. You you travel and travel and travel and you and there's more islands and it's just kind of almost infinite um, infinite but um, but then the um, navigation it takes a little bit to get to match the proportion of the matched of the map to the uh, actual terrain I made an error a couple of days ago I went up the wrong bay which cost me three about well, three hours of hard work extra hard work. And uh, but I got the, the proportions of the map and the surroundings, and and it's a uh, really complicated traveling, but very beautiful. Uh, it's nice being out here alone. Probably nearest person right now is probably Black Lake, about 100 miles away. And it's a very open area. It was a clear day today. Um, it looked like it was going to be warm, but the north wind came up right way when I was in the openness of this huge lake here in the afternoon. Then. Headwinds came up again. The temperature dropped. It did get up 20 degrees, uh, and then the t- and then wind came in. It's going to be a real cold night again tonight, uh, but clear. And uh, so things are going really well here. I'm getting into a better rhythm now, day after day of the same thing, the way I like it. Uh, it's very very beautiful open area. Uh, little signs of spring, and uh, but. Uh, Main concern here is storms or more snow. It doesn't look like that in the forecast here, judging from the wind and the sky. But so things are going well. I'm um, cooking a dinner here of caribou meat, uh, almost out of caribou meat. Jason gave me uh, some caribou. And there's a question, what do you de- eat on your diet? My best uh, food I like is caribou. And uh, Caribou is the only, only food that I've ever eaten that I maintain my strength on. I don't have an infinite amount of it right now, so I have it every other day, but it really kind of builds your body, gives me a lot of great strength. I eat it pretty much rare, very extremely rare. Uh, make it with uh, lots of uh, lard, so it's real fatty. The meat itself is very, very tender, um, much, much more tender than beef. Beef is really a kind of a coarse meat that... And I'm not really a much of a meat eater back in the real world, but uh, I would prefer a caribou here. But I'm not hunting uh, because the uh, natives, uh, you know, the natives have the rights to the food up in here, the wild food. Although um, I haven't seen any caribou. The caribou did not come through this area this year. Otherwise, I would have had a real massive trail, you know, road system actually going up to this area. But... The caribou passed elsewhere, so there was no real traffic here. So anyways, I'll check out here. Uh, it looks like it's about 10 below right now. Probably get down about 25 tonight. And uh, things are going well, so over and out.